life. Can I try one? Oh, great. Thank you. Those are good. Hey! Interviewed on 60 Minutes this Sunday, The Tonight Show host leaves the show next month, and in the interview he says that he has not planned to tackle another late night night show. He says he cannot recreate what he's had with another show. Looking back at his 22-year run, Leno describes the experience as fantastic. He makes way for Jimmy Fallon February 17th, and the show moves to New York. It's KPCC. PR comes from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Recognizing exceptional Barb. creative individuals. Finally, responded to my email. Of course, in classic, you know, Barb fashion, it was really hostile, wouldn't even begin to acknowledge the reality of the fact that everybody knows that, you know, that the Twitter is not just some sort of, like, you know, narcissist vessel for, you know, for, for the ego or something, that it's creating these fiscal dialogues that, we, that we've been trying to start for years, right, that sort of in terms of corporate social responsibility alone, and, you know, her ideas around technology are so antiquated, um, but, you know, okay, I was listening to that, I think it was pretty clear. You were listening to that? I was listening to that. 
as you were talking. You were not listening to me. You were not listening to me, and you turned off the radio. So you came into my space. I curated for myself to be well. (laughs) And you just started chipping away at it. Just to put it in terms that you might understand. Okay. I'm going to go, okay? Okay. So you can, you know, I'm going to watch Bill Maher. Because that's the one pleasure that I have at the end of the day. I don't know. God, I hate it when you look at me like that. What? Like, like what? Like, you're just... You, just you, you, you really take pleasure in humiliating me. Obviously, you love to humiliate me publicly as was distributed, as it was displayed earlier. Do you have an example of this? Or? Obviously, what happened earlier, Coffee Bean, is just a classic example of you doing this to me. It's, but it's been happening for, as long, for you know, our whole relationship. I, I would love to hear how the public humiliated you Coffee Bean. I would love to break it down. We were standing in line okay. at Coffee Bean. I made the grave error of saying grande when he asked me what size I wanted, which you, of course, thought was hysterical. We weren't at Starbucks. I said grande. We were, you know, you projected this booming violent laughter you reiterated over and over again this this you know this mistake that i had made humor about yourself please i mean nothing to do with a sense of humor you're in a kimono have a sense of humor about yourself you don't scare me you know i'm not i'm not someone you can fire i think that's why this relationship has always been a struggle i'm not trying to scare you you only thrive off relationships that can be financially um where you can wield your power through, the, you know, the checkbook. Mm. I was just imagining what it must be like to actually know you. Mm. And just the horror of what it must be to actually, to really know. And just how I felt so saddened by, by your inability to share your life with me and to mm-hmm. share you know, kind of this, the, the, the wall built around you, which I know obviously in part due to the calcified alcoholism that ravaged your home, you know, whiskey in hand. And I think you've never allowed me to really see you because I think that to really see you would be such a devastating, you know, to really be faced with that devastating reality would be actually the ultimate alienation would be to truly know you, to really see you. You know so you're not young, right? I'm, I'm, I think I'm done here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just go off to bed. You know now that you've completely crossed over into old age. You know, blogging about the most recent vegan recipe, you know, in hopes of that turning into something bigger. You know that's completely transparent at this point. You know that it's so far out of reach. Right, I mean, I'm just checking in. Just want to be clear. I had a dream, uh, I guess now a couple weeks ago, uh, that you'd passed. And I woke up, I slept so sad, I woke up so refreshed. Uh, Euphoric almost. I, I think uh, I almost woke up laughing or it was like, almost like you had never existed. Like I woke up as though I had never met you. You know, I was just so awake. And it was just this fantasy of this life without you. But not even like maybe you died, like you had never existed. think the top of the list of the bed is the environment we see this out here we are in the middle of our rainy season and celebrating the rainy season with the worst drought ever wildfires that's the bad news california is burning the good news is colorado is smoking (laughs) we're all gonna die you might as well die high that's what i said no how about
about that? While we were off, legalized pot went into effect in the United States of America. I never thought I would see it. And now, I'm telling you, the dominoes are falling. Washington, D.C. is considering Washington State's going to have it in a couple of months. California's considering it. The legislature, the House in New Hampshire, voted to legalize it.